Hey YouTube, I'm back with another tutorial. I am going to show you a um, little, I guess, idea of something else to make out of these trays. I got this at the Dollar Tree. They usually come in silver and gold, but they only had gold. So what I did, I already have one spray painted. And the color is Bahama Sea. I purchased it from Lowe's and it's a nice pretty color almost like a mixture of a turquoise and just maybe a almost a uh, the same baby blue maybe it's a really pretty color and I was kind of undecided I didn't know if I wanted to use the silver ribbon wrap or the tur the turquoise which is just a little off from the tray. It'll still be pretty. I think I'll probably make one anyway. But I think with this time I'm just going to use the silver beads. Now these ribbon mesh wraps. I got them off Amazon. And they have quite a few different colors. And this one is a real big roll. This one is a 30 foot um, roll. And I also have some glitter paper. This is silver glitter. I don't know if you can see it that well. But I already cut it into size. This is going to go inside of my tray. And I'm going to use some tacky glue. That I also got from the Dollar Tree. And all you need is just to cut them to size. You need a brush. Of course. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. It's a very quick simple tutorial. And I'm going to start by putting in my tacky glue. I was going to use Mod Podge. I probably, I'll just use a Mod Podge. Anything will work. Any kind of glue. Some people use school glue. Um, there's all different types of glue for these projects. So I'm just going to use a Mod Podge. Also, you'll need a glue gun and glue sticks for this project as well. They call these charger plates, rectangle charger plates. So you can find them online at the Dollar Tree if they're not in your local Dollar Tree store. Okay, I already cut my glitter paper into size and I'm just going to stick it inside the tray. And with this video, I I can give it time to dry, but I'm okay with uh, keeping along with this video. I can go ahead and put my beads in, which what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the glue gun, and I'm just going to go down the inner edges. I'm just going to start applying the beads.
see how this come along. Got to wrap it up a little stick. Try to get as close to the edge as you can with the glue. So anything kind of, if you go too far up on the tray, that's fine. You can always pull it off. And you will see glue strings as well. Look like little spider webs. And you can just easily pull them off. You can see how that's coming along already. I'm just going to continue around the edges. And then we have our redecorated charger tray. You can do anything with these trays. You can make a wall art out of them. Um, you can make them for as a candle tray. I got quiet there for a minute. I was concentrating. But yeah, you can do anything with these trays. They turn out very, very nice. I'm sure any idea would be fine. You want to set jewelry on top of it. Your perfume bottles. Okay, so as you see, I have at least three of them missing. I have some more beads somewhere. I have to find them. I have so much crafting items that I lose them. I thought this would have been enough, but it was a silver beaded necklace that you find at the Dollar Tree. They have gold. They have a whole variety of colors. So you, I know you have an idea of how it would look, so I'll just hide that and take that off. But this is the almost finished project, about 99%. And like I said, you can set anything on it. It's a nice little decorative piece. You can make like maybe, I'll say nine of these, stick them to a foam board, add a little D-ring on the back, hang them on the wall for a piece of art. That would be very nice. So this is my completion for now of my tutorial for the charger plates. And again, this is how they looked. I got from a Dollar Tree. I think they're like 14 inches long, maybe 5 to 6 inches wide. A very nice size piece. And this is how I made it look. And I'm sorry I don't have the other piece, but I will finish it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to get a notification whenever I upload tutorials. May God bless you. Be safe out there in this crazy world right now. And just stay prayerful. Keep God first in your life. And 
this is it to my tutorial and I will be back soon. Have a good day.